Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox. I'm a man and this moment, this lifetime, this dimension. And this video I want to say to honor, I see people talk, I see my own mind talk about when I was younger, I had a lower vibration. But I don't want to put it that way, everyone. I feel we should pay deepest honor and a different word to uh, vib our different vibrational states, how we all fluctuate mentally and emotionally. And um, how we are different at different stages of our lives. So, just got a good message there a little bit. So everyone, we need to pay them the deepest of love and respect for other people in our family and our friends, our colleagues and workmates strangers instead of judging the illuminati or people who are doing harmful stuff and i know very well people are doing bloody ridiculous fucking crazy shit and we we must step up in our divine masculine hood to protect and defend and stand up and be a fighter a warrior from the heart with a sense of grounded love and compassion and understanding at the same time and stick up for women children elderly the defenseless even animals my opinion too um but instead of looking at ourselves or other people like we're flawed or weak or immature which immature is an okay description it's not the worst word in the world it's okay because we all have different levels of maturity mat maturation and development we are all multi-dimensional cosmic beings we've only tipped the surface of our potential and of who we truly are and the depths of our being. So what I want in my life is to have like so much happiness and joy and love and respect for my journey, like my journey and how I am now and where I've been. And I know where I'm going. I'm going to look back now and think, Owen, oh, you made mistakes back then, but there's no real mistakes. It's just learning experience. It's just an experiential experience. Life is not just for learning like a school. That's an old thought, everyone. We are multidimensional beings and the, we're, we, we are alive to experience because Source wants to experience itself. We, we live to experience and to create. And depending on what we, how we develop, learn and grow, we want to create different stuff because new desires are born through every experience. So that's the beauty of life. New desires are born. New rockets of desire, as Abraham says. We want to create and make and experience new different things. So we all have different experiences in life and history. As a result, we have different desires. We, we know different things. So some people act a certain way and we mightn't agree with it. But when we make... Sorry, a little hiccup. Yeah, when we make peace with where others are in our hearts and where we are in our hearts, then we won't have to judge everybody. We don't have to condemn and criticize where we all are different stages and aspects in our journey. So we can actually learn to appreciate where people are in their journey and where we are because it's a constant change in the step of our journey of life. You can't judge one step, say, hey, you were further back back then. Similarly, we can't judge someone else or ourselves at a previous step. We need to honor every step of our journey. Just like walking to the shop or going on a nature walk. Every step is valid, important and beautiful in its own right. Even our so-called mistakes is a very important step. It brings us to the next step. It teaches us what we want and what we don't want. It forges new desires, which are the driving force or the rocket of, of inspired action to create a new experience for ourselves and for other people. So in this message to you, I want to suggest that we all make peace and make love in our heart for how life is at the moment, not only on Earth, but in the cosmic scale of multidimensionality. You know, there's many rooms in this mansion as jesus said just many vibrational realities and frequencies everybody we we hardly know anything the people who are high sensory empaths in this world they're tuned more 
into their multidimensional um, existence and experience. But we all are psychic, everyone. We all have intuition. We all live in the physical world at this moment also. So it's a holistic experience for all of us. And we need to learn how to holistically balance and incorporate and integrate everything together so we can live a happy, harmonious, fun and exciting, healthy and balanced life. So that's all I want to say. Um, I thank you for watching. It's really good to come together for the purpose of co-creation. As I love Abraham saying, it just resonates with me. We've come together today and it's been my joy and pleasure and happiness to share this moment with you. Every moment is fleeting. Life is precious and delicate and temporary. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. Thanks for your love and support. And I look forward to seeing you again in another live video. Check out my other live videos. Befriend me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Say hello. And if you want any personal one-to-one -one coaching, body, mind, spirit, mental, emotional, relational, uh, physical, um, I look forward to connecting with you more. Cheryl says good morning. Ellen. Good morning, Cheryl. Have a beautiful day. Love you loads. See you everyone. Have a beautiful day and take care. Thanks for watching. So good.